going through. Um, starting this way, because this game just starts automatically, and that's all I know about it. Also, if there's any weird volume issues, I had no idea. So, yeah, all I know about this game is that there is no menu at the start. So, I will get this started now. This is literally as far as I've gotten every time I've started this up and like just to mess with my volume and stuff like that, but then it just puts you on a boat. And every time I've played this I've all the forward right here, so now it's time to see what this is all about. Oh. Okay. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh, that's okay. Well, this looks nice. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay, got a mailbox. What's that say? Orcas Island Gazette. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Well, I don't think those are getting paid. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. We just fuck that no trespassing sign. We do what we want. In a row, my mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Apparently it was, because we're back. Uh downhill or up I'm gonna I'm gonna go uphill. driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Where did, did, did I miss the hoof prints? Oh. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, I don't want to have a combat sequence right now. I feel like I would get one shot by a deer. Even after I inherited the house. Oh, you inherited the house? I mean, at least sell it then, if it's haunted. Questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Okay, well, fair enough. You can sell it after. Okay, this looks like a haunted house. Like, let's just be honest. This little expansion up here. Who does this? The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. So that's that's normal. All right. The zoom that keeps happening is because I'm impulsively hitting shift to run. But there is no run. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Yeah, I mean, it looks creepy as shit. A normal person would be afraid of this house. Are we... Am I... Okay, I was gonna say. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I don't think that's gonna work. The night we left. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, the fact that all these tools are still here, like the saw is in, I mean, it looked like good condition. Like, someone, someone's still living here. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. This whole, like, the text just showing up on random stuff like this, I kinda like that. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. And of course, like the first time I say that, empty. it starts just showing up on Even the screen the wherever I am. Had a story. Edie told me the bricks came, came from the original house after it sank. Oh, that must be what that is, then. The original house that sank? Alright. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Well, I was gonna try, because I don't know about that. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Well, Sven was very nice for that, because this house seems like it maintained it. Man, that's a lot of books. Holy crap. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. So we're going up the stairs. There is a ton of books in this house. Like, it's almost disturbing at this point. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. That sounds disturbing. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. I mean, if you don't know, no different. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Okay, so she lived forever in comparison to some of these other people. What did this one say? He was eleven. He was 11. This guy was, what is that? 49? And then Edith lived to be 93. Or wait. No, I can't do math. No, 93, yeah. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. <laughs> uh -oh. He always told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Looks like the key is good for something. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. <laughs> now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. What is this? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I'm telling you, it's someone who's still living here. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Okay, Molly. But, uh... At Molly's room through the peephole. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage.
Oh, there we go. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. Wait. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. It's just the whole time travel simulator, basically. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. I kept eating and eating. Oh, we're going straight to the toothpaste. Holy crap. No, don't tell me I got... I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Okay, cool, thank you. Because that was about to make me sad. Oh, there we go. My Halloween candy was all gone. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was Check a out the bird. Going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Why does my window have chains on it? And suddenly. I'm a kid. I, I have no idea what's going on. This is uh very new to me. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. I, uh, would love to know where this is going. This is like the, the precursor to Stray, is what I bought. She was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This is... A trip. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Rabbits. Oh, I see one. What is this? Yeah, I mean, I think that's how owls eat, yeah. survive out here though <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, basically, right? <laughs> Embrace the confusion. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy sweets. I mean, it seems kind of mean, though. Like, you could have got the whole seal, I feel like. be the motto of this game is embrace the confusion. I like how I can like push the letters out of the way though, that's cool. I was about to say, what is happening? Why can't I move? I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Well, that means you didn't want to stop. sea monster. You can pretty much have whatever you want. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. The good smell. I'm mad that I just came out of someone's toilet. Sound design of the scene always reminds me of Bioshock. Oh, yeah. That is, a uh, Very apt. Wait, this is my room. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was being. to look under this bed real quick and see what I find. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh. What is her the cat? This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, 
When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh, that's cool. It's just like sections of a tree. That's neat. The room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg. Oh, there's a whole family son, curse. Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave <laughs> the curse behind. Just took the whole house with him. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Maybe it was the house that was cursed. Eddie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already That's in front of a new Finch house. Wait, how do I drop this thing? Oh, come on. There has to be a way. Oh, just walk away from it. That works. <laughs> Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Can I just... Oh, no, it's sealed up. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Hang she on one out, second. Let me fix that uh, sound issue. Oof. Okay. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like what a... Uh, that sounds like uh, an old person thing to do. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That's... I think that's everything in this room. Oh, all of these books. Holy crap. Let's see what... Even yeah, I can... In her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. This looks hideous. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, I would say. Oh, that's sealed up. That's right. Will this open? Nice. This key's good for two locks. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. This is a spooky him. crawl space. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Uh-oh. 
another save space. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Welcome up to Command Center. Alright. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Well, that's kind of sad. We get another flashback scene. I think I'll get another flashback scene. My brother, by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Awesome. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. Oh, that's sad. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Get on Tabby! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Okay, let me stop. Or oh, wait, do I? Can I stop? Because this is, uh, is kind of weird. I feel like I'm slowed down enough that I should just be able to let go of this by now. I don't know what's wrong with my... I don't know what's wrong with this boy. Your mom called you for dinner. Wait. You know what? I'm just gonna keep swinging then. I genuinely thought I was supposed to stop. I told him going around was impossible. Oh, he wants to do a circle. Maybe if I hadn't said that. This is honestly like messing with my like fear of heights right now. Man, that like that like made me feel weird. Like with the I don't know about that. Strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Can I, can I put the rope back up? I guess not. I uh, okay, I was gonna say. What is this? I'm telling you this house is haunted. Like no one builds something like this for fun. They're hiding something. That's the only only explanation. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Uh. 
Hades father Odin built the original house. Yeah, and then he tried to sail with it, which is the goofiest thing I've ever heard of. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the Air Force stairs on the night we left. What's the point, though? If, if only just to make things more confusing for me to look around at. Okay, so this is just like some, you know, you unlocked the, the fast travel point in Dark Souls. Let me just get back under here and keep on my quest. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Oh, there we go. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it a surprise ending. Who would keep... Like, of all the things you could keep of one of your family members dying, a, a shock comic. Is famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. Wow, 16 and washed up. <laughs> break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career. Unfortunately, a scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So okay, well, that's better than I thought. Stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Did you love the sequence? Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Really? You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box, and as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. This looks like, um, what was that game called? Killer 7? <laughs> the Halloween music. And imagine the worst. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Supposed to hit him. Barb, relax. I was just trying.
trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rip. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you... She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? Then she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Still with the Halloween music. There we go. If this is, I, I have a feeling this is the boyfriend who was trying to get the scream out. Yeah, it is. That's what I was, like they've been playing the Halloween music every time I have to want to sequence in here. I'm really confused right now. Stone. A 
as for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her fear. That's pretty creepy. That's what I call a real fairy tale. Okay, Jack, that was... <laughs> That was, that was pretty terrible, as far as puns go. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Um, I'm pretty confused with that one. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. YouTube keeps kicking you out of the stream. It might be my connection. I've been seeing this weird, like, yellow error come up about not sending enough video data, but I don't know what that means or how to fix it, so. Funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. You know what? Let me, let me go mess with that real quick. No, keep going that way. There we go. I can't believe that worked. Maybe that comic was on to something. Like, this place is just too clean to have been left abandoned for ten years. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tent in a shot. Yeah, this is what must be all, like, the planks she was using for the portraits. <laughs> I gotcha. Well, I appreciate you trying. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. There's a whole generator down here then. asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Okay, there we go. On that first day, after the shaving started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's insane. Having a schedule, living for today, I always expect it to be <laughs> straight from the can. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. I mean, he ain't lying. Even a monster, a 
the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. I would have to take the top off that. Day, that would make me too paranoid to cut my face on. Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. How do you have this many peaches, man? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. Oh, there we go. I was like, how do I leave? Dedication. Yeah, seriously. I don't know how long I could... I don't know how long I could go on just peaches. But, you know. Maybe, maybe these albinos were... Or enough to cut the whatever killed Barbara. The monotony. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel that. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Yeah. Yeah, no, I bet you would uh you really could go for some variety right now. You only have a year left? What? Oh, okay. You're just a single week. I'd be happy. That sucks. I, uh, I'm kind of bummed out about that. Died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, can only imagine what else she was hiding. I mean, you make a good point, because that would be some steep, uh, that's some steep information to keep from anybody. <laughs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. I should even be writing this. Why is the chair in the tree? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Oh, do you got like a kid or something? Oh no, you said you were 16. History. God, I hope you don't have a kid. 
Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness yeah madness is a good way to describe the witch's tower that is built on your house wait hmm see what's this way and there's nothing been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it yeah that'll happen what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house it's embarrassing for me to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one three of the gerbils are mine and too had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, that's what that's supposed to be. Okay. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. side was always easier for me to understand. Yeah, she wasn't built in creepy labyrinths. I can see where my mom was coming from. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. I think she would make it a little bit easier on you. But I guess, you know, someone built this whole maze, so you might as well use it. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Okay, so the 16-year-old I'm playing as is pregnant. At least I think she said she was 16. Maybe I'm just getting that mixed up somewhere. I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. We just got a letter. Oh, never mind, it's photos. You look like a young, um, oh man, I'm out of camera for his name right now. Don, I promise. Uh, Stan Lee. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm? What? Am I gonna have to shoot anything? 
It's a hunting trip, Don. Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. What am I looking for? You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. The bird? Aww. A family of birds. Okay, there's gotta be something. I should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, there we go. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you wanna survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Some aesthetic camping fish. shots. How to build a fire. Found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. What 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 shot am I taking? Oh, there we go. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Let me get the hell Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Great shot, Don! I mean, that is a really good picture, to be honest, but... I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, this trippy. Like, just moving like this feels so weird. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's... totally so... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about... Dad! Oh! Wow. Revenge. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> kind of messed up that it's funny, but that's pretty funny. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Hmm. I guess we'll go out the door.
Maybe not? I don't know. Yeah, let me see if there's some way through here. I feel like this is one of those, there's another hidden door. Yeah, there we go. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They both lost a lot. That is that a painting or is that like a doll? Because that is the creepiest looking thing I've ever seen. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh? When he thought he was alone. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. Oh, well, this is going to be really sad. I wonder what he saw. What his world was like. I need to get every duck. Oh, let me get these letters off. No, I have to get these letters. What am I supposed to knock over exactly? Oh, there we go. Nice, got every letter. I have no idea what that's gonna do, but. I have unlocked the whale as a companion. See. I know how silly it sounds. But I worried about a baby being too happy. Yeah, it does sound pretty silly. This one is so devastating and good. Damn it. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh. No, I don't want, I gotta do it though. That's. I wish you could have told us about the world he saw. <sighs> this does make me feel bad. You were right. <laughs>
show you how. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, I hate that the game makes you do that. Yeah, no, no s s little snark comment after that one. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh, this is fun. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh yeah, I need to pick him up, prank. Oh, maybe not. Okay. What am I missing? I feel like it should let me pick these up like I did the last group, but it's not, it's not working. This is getting annoying. I need to know what I'm supposed to do. Can't go up any higher than that. So, oh. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here, but Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh hell yeah. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, I'm about to get like Ben Franklin. Because that would be wild. chair yes the thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power but all my father said to this was make the music louder did i just did i just make a tornado truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. That was kind of sad. Gus was punk rock. 
mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Greg, be a baby. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. I feel like one of these is about At to break. Time, it was as far away as she could get. <laughs> she spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, there we go. That's another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Yeah. Yeah, it could help a lot of people. I feel like, no, I don't think I was missing anything. Maybe. Let me just double check real quick. This elaborate climbing sequence. Me? Okay, yeah. I'm glad I came back up here. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. <gasps> When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Yeah, you made this like, you know, witch's tower. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. And why didn't it? Oh. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Was Milton the one who was doing all the long stuff? Because if so, good on him. They look really nice. The magic paintbrush. Take a trip with Milton. Oh, this is nice. That's pretty peculiar. I was four when Milton disappeared. Oh, so he just vanished. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. And did I miss somebody in the family tree? 
Yeah, I did. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Hopefully I find the dawn part later, because that would be annoying if I just, like, missed it. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. <laughs> of course, there's nothing around this way. <laughs> Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. His room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. <laughs> All of his dope's still good. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Oh. Grab it! Oh, never mind, that's me walking around. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Oh, this is weird. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Get, we're getting into isometric territory here. Daydreaming at the cannery. Yeah, you're probably going to lose a hand. Oh, let me just keep following the red. That's probably a good idea. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. Yeah, like a dead man walking. So I Can't lose an employee like that. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. This is a... 
fun little little segment of this game. I feel like this is gonna end tragically, but talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Yeah. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh no. He held an election for men. Well, I mean, that could end good or bad. And he won. <laughs> of course he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. This, this, this game is making me sad. Something's really wrong with this family. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Queen was on her own quest for. I want the rainbows. No. Thank you. Radiant rainbows. <laughs> I feel like hitting the first one is gonna cause me pro. Wow, I'm doing terrible with this. We'll go with this. We'll go with the the sitar or sitar. Electric sitar. Sitar. Yeah, I said it right the first time. His chase led him to terrible at this part. West of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. I'm, I really feel like I'm about to lose my hand at any second. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. I kind of feel bad for Lewis right now. Is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. The 
began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it reeks in here, and, you know, he's like a, a god king in his imagination, so... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. So what are we so what are we doing here? Oh. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll ride the treadmill. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Yeah, this looks much nicer than being a cannery worker. I would go here too. Why is she surprised? And he's got a cat advisor? Like, honestly, why are you surprised? I don't like how they all are faceless, though. That is kind of creepy to me. I wish I knew what he was doing in the real world with all this. Oh, That... no. And the rest I think you know. Yeah. His future son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That's... that's really sad. brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. I kind of thought something like that was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting a guillotine. I thought I was just going to like really hurt myself. My mom told me to start she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Hey, it's my room. The top of this witch's tower. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edie, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue. 
I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. <laughs> The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled. Off. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Around. Yeah, I can imagine. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. I find it very hard to believe that somehow this gate would have survived. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to But you know. Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. 
last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Am I be? Yeah, I feel like I'm about to be born and then like my mom dies in childbirth. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Okay. I, th I think that's it. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it. That's credits. That was certainly a game. <laughs> I'm not really too sure how to feel about that. I'm gonna... probably think about this for a while but um that was what remains of edith finch i probably missed some stuff to be honest but hopefully you enjoyed it i know i did